read the situation below and answer the three associated questions. When Deepti opened the package, she was aghast. She received cotton pillow covers instead of satin pillow covers and she had ordered. Deepti ordered them for her father from a popular e-commerce website that hosted products of many sellers. Confused, Deepti contacted the seller's office using the details given on the package. The seller's representative profusely regretted and promised to send us satin pillow covers at no extra cost. He added that Deepti need not return the cotton covers she received. Deepti happily accepted the deal. A few days later, Deepti received another package from the seller. Unfortunately, this package also contained cotton pillow covers. Completely disillusioned with the seller's professionalism, Deepti decided to put to use these cotton pillow covers also. And I've had this experience a couple of times. You buy something, something else comes. When you talk to some customer representative, they speak as if everything can be fixed and they will fix. And then nothing gets fixed. And so it's a, it's a pain. It, for me, it happens with the banks. This, this is with the, with, the, with, the, with the e-commerce seller, seller on e-commerce website. A few days later, Deepthi received an email from the e-commerce website requesting her to share feedback about the seller or the goal. Deeply frustrated with the overall online purchasing experience, she deliberately ignored it. Later that evening, over supper, her father opined that the balcony curtains needed to be changed. He suggested that they be bought from a local shop. If something went wrong, we could at least yell at the seller. Very prudent point. And at least you go there. You download on the seller, you're good to go. Uh, Deeply stared at her laptop and began writing her feedback. So, so interesting, interesting. What would Deepthi definitely achieve by giving feedback? Instigate people against the seller? No, you don't want to instigate anybody. This is not a, this is not a, you're not looking to start a riot. This is a customer interaction. It's a corporate uh, uh, tussle. At worst, not even a corporate tussle. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a complaint forum. Nothing more. Coerce the e-commerce website to punish the seller. You can give feedback, but going out to coercing the e-commerce website. Definitely communicate and give feedback. Uh, what would Deepthi definitely achieve by giving feedback? I don't think you can achieve this. And I think you can, you can just put in a rating. There'll be some points that are there. They'll keep that feedback in mind. But you're not able, going to be able to coerce the e-commerce website. Uh, what would Deepthi definitely achieve? An act of social service. Uh, if you write a complaint against a provider of pillow cases, you want to call it social service. All of us will be great giants, but it is not what it is. And so you should be clear about it. So it, it, it does help the community. Good feedback does help the, help the community. Uh, this is a purchasing community. This is a, make sure that the, 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 the marketplace is clean and, and transparent and honest and has high integrity. There is a lot of good that people who write detailed feedback go bestow on the entire community. No doubt about it. Uh, but writing one feedback email when you're frustrated, I don't think you're achieving uh, social service, an act of social service. And so it, it may be, if not, no other choice works, I'll go for this. But I'm not such a fan. You're over, you're really, uh, I won't say insulting, but putting down social service by saying one email is social service. Release her frustration. This will happen. What did she definitely achieve by giving feedback? You feel like you've cast a stone. You feel deeply that hey, at least when I told you, at least I've told it. So, release her frustration? Definitely yes. She will definitely achieve this. This is not asking about your objective, mind you. But what will you definitely have? I am shooting for the stars, but I will get this. I want the world to be changed. I want e-commerce websites to be cleaned up. I want the sellers to get clear communication. I want the, 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 the website to, to, to mandatory dock some points. I, I want the seller to take this seriously and speak to his employee, all that. But at the very least, I'll receive, remove my frustration. That I can achieve. Prove a point to her father, that's not the objective. He might have said something that even she might have been peeved with, but uh, it was ordered twice, it didn't come out good. He's probably right in saying that, hey, why don't you buy it from the local shop? And so, not E, not A, not B, uh, between C and D, C, D would shade it. I would go with D. In the feedback column, Deepthi awarded one star out of the maximum five stars to the seller and described her negative experience. Later that evening, the sales had called and pleaded with her to retract her feedback and upgrade them to five star. As they had already fired the employee concerned, 
he appealed that they were a young organization and their sales were getting badly affected. Given the circumstances, what should be the ideal response? She should stick to her feedback and the stars awarded since she reported only what had taken place. I, I like this. I like this. I'll tell you why. Because there's not one mistake, but two. The first strike was sending the wrong sheets in the first place. Second one, you have a complaint and then they, they continue to call you. Third, after that they've sent a feedback email. Right? This is the two mistakes that have happened twice over. Second thing, they're not, uh, the, the information this guy is providing, it's on, on empathy grounds. He's just saying, sorry, 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 sorry. And he's saying, I've taken action against the employee. This is not on any compensatory grounds. This is not, not solving my problem. Nor is this solving my problem. More importantly, this is unverifiable. As they had already fired the employee concern. I don't know. I don't know what other issues were there. They are not solving my problem. I'm not getting side end covers. And so, and they, they didn't mess up once, they messed up, messed up twice. She should retract the feedback and award 5 star as the seller has already punished the concerned employee. My objective was not to get the employee punished. My objective was redressal. I'm not looking for vengeance. I'm looking for redressal. And if they have not gotten them fired but fixed my problem, made my life better, simpler, then there's something, something goes there. Suppose you go to a restaurant and, and uh, there's something, something the issue with the food. Uh, a decent restaurant will say, okay, sir, this is a good place. I will They come and give it to you. You feel nice. Especially if the second one is good, replacement is good. Uh, you go, okay, there was an issue. This is not good. Okay, I told him, and then five minutes later, it has been replaced. He says, oh, this is not good. I will fire the cook, sir. It doesn't work. They fire the cook or not fire the cook and get a new cook. It does not solve my problem. I'm looking for redressal, not vengeance. Uh, she should retract the feedback and award five stars since sales are getting affected. So, don't, don't get me wrong, but you're sending that feedback with complete awareness that sales could get affected. And sometimes, when some companies do... Uh, less than great things and their sales do get affected, such is life, must happen. And so, if you are giving unfair, untrue, fake, negative feedback, and so sometimes I have been very peeved with those, we have had a, a few of those, I get very worked up. But you have been honest, sales are getting affected, it's, that's, the, that's the consequence of having that feedback. And that's what happens if you don't uh, treat your customers well. She should order again with the same seller and share her renewed experience. No, her issue is not fixed. None of this would have mattered if they had sent a replacement side in covers. If sales were seriously affected, they could have shipped another set of side in covers to her and said, Sir, ma'am, really sorry. Uh, have you at least received it? Yep, you have indeed. Try this out. If you are okay with it, then, then please change your feedback. So, the, the, instead of pleading and firing, they sent a certain cover. This might have been a, might have been, if its sales are getting seriously affected, they should look to fix it. They should look to get the customer on board rather than just pleading and firing somebody. Okay. I'm not ordering again. She should retain the feedback but award three star as a consolation mission. This is neither here nor there. There's no basis for going from five to three to one, five to one to three. And so, not this, not this, not this, not this either. This works. After a few months, the sales head inquired, in case you're using the cotton pillow covers and like them, kindly rate them on the e-commerce website. It will help us serve our customers better. Later that evening, her father remarked, you know, I really love these pillow covers, though I'm not sure why you bought so many of them. So they want satin, but the cotton ones are actually working better. And she was peeved because the cotton ones, the, the satin ones, they messed up. Like they sent cotton twice over. Let's look at this, which is the following reasons gives Deepthi the best rationale to ignore the sales head's request. Acceding to that request benefits just a seller while her sore experience remains. Uh, not necessary. You accede to the request and then your sore experience is, you're, you're, you're holding on to the fact that you've been shipped the wrong set of covers and you're not getting a good experience. You, you accede to this and say, look, this is fine. 
there's a there's a decent chance that your feeling about this whole pillow buying experience improves. The experience of getting the the, the cotton cases can be changed. But the, the, what you feel, you feel cheated, you feel like you, you, uh, you've got the, a, a poor product, that will go away. You feel, you'll feel that look, look, the cotton thing is good. Ah, yeah, yeah. Good. Okay. So I, 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 I was not cheated. I was just given the wrong product, which actually, as it turns out, has actually been a decent product. So I won't say it, it is, it benefits just a seller. And so, uh, her sore experience of having got the wrong product will remain, but her her feeling toward that that experience that could be heavily mitigated. Okay. Cotton pillow covers were delivered erroneously, hence the seller does not deserve appreciation. Mm, yeah, but but they are working. They seem to be working, and so uh, that is. I, I, I wouldn't count if the cotton pillows are working fine then. You can accept, you can concede the fact, you can completely state and reiterate the fact that they sold the wrong product twice. Uh, but saying the seller does not deserve appreciation. This mistake was done. But they are working fine. And you have already punished them for or conveyed that you are displeased with this. So maybe you can still change it. Not just, there is not sufficient ground for ignoring the sales set request. Acceding to the request, she will imply that she was wrong in ordering satin pillow covers in the first place. Of course, but there's nothing wrong with that. Yes, yes, it'll mean that you should have probably ordered cotton covers, but there's nothing wrong with this. Why is that uh, saying, okay, I wanted satin, but turns out cotton is better? Good. So, accepting that you were wrong in the first place might actually be a very good thing. So, not this. It's not even that she's going to be punished over it or she has to face judge and jury. So, don't mind. She'll probably say, oh, yeah. I got this one wrong. Might as well send the guy an appreciation mail or change the uh, feedback. And accept the fact that maybe from next time around, I will order cotton instead of satin. If the seller truly cared about customers, they should have shipped the satin pillow covers by now. Yeah. They shipped the cotton once once. That didn't work. I complained. They shipped it second time. So they made a mistake twice over. And then they called and pleaded with me to, to change the review. And said so they fired the employee. I mean, far simpler to ship satin covers and then say, ma'am, I've shipped the satin covers. Sorry about this. I'm also sending you a link. We've already sent, we've given you three sets of covers when you had bought only one. We'll definitely give you one for free. If the cotton covers are working fine, you might perhaps want to pay for it. I would have loved that. But they're not losing out. I'm getting my satin. They're, they've fixed the issue. And then I feel good about giving them the money for the one set of cotton covers. I'm getting the other for free anyway. So a lot of the problem this is a customer service issue. The, 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 if as a provider, you can ask for feedback, review, uh, good news, improvement, rating, all of that, only after you have fixed the problem. So you fix the problem and then the customer gets happy. The problem here is not even the quality of the pillow covers. The problem here is I ordered for satin and I've got cotton. Not once, twice for the same purchase. And so, uh, the, 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 the company is unhappy and the customer is also unhappy. The company is unhappy because they have shipped two cotton things. And only one is, one they have got paid for. Customer is unhappy because she didn't want cotton in the first place. So the, the, the issue from both ends get fi gets fixed. She then gets the satin things. And then you send her an email saying, that, ma'am, we have shipped the satin ones to you. I shipped you two cotton covers. You are using them and they are alright. Would you, would you mind paying for one? She would probably be thrilled to pay for one, change her review have a good feeling, continue to order with them, everything gets fixed. I think that in this experience, shipping the satin cover is the it's a crucial piece of the jigsaw. And I think that will that would have changed everything. That would have been uh, that is the customer expectation. Whether it is stated or unstated, it doesn't matter. So I'd go for this. Or I like this at least. Her review will lack credibility since there is no proof that she purchased the product. Not necessarily. I have reviewed on Amazon a few things that I have not bought from Amazon. And I've, I, I've liked the product, i picked it up from somewhere. I wanted to convey to the seller, the producer, the manufacturer, the, the people who are handling it, that it was a good product. I find the best place to review it is always Amazon. I go there and say, look, I like this. Uh, it's true, it's honest, so I don't worry about the credibility of honest stuff. And so a well-written review, you can distinguish it from a, from a fake review. You just go through it, you'll be able to figure out. 
and so I, I'm, I'm I'm not sure it will lack credit. Several purchases that are made on the e-commerce platform they are fake. It's an important factor. Don't I don't decry it. People who have actually purchased from the e-commerce thing have a that little bit higher stake in giving feedback on that platform. No doubt about it. But uh, it's not the only criterion. It's not like so we have not made the purchase. Uh, there's no proof that you purchased the product. Therefore, there's no credibility. It doesn't work like that. And so I would go for choice D. Especially because we want the best rational to ignore the sales set request. The best rational is this. If he really wanted my feedback, he would have shipped my, my satin covers. That is true. So they really want to fix the problem. The problem still is that I have not got my satin covers. That will get fixed with none of this, but just one act of actually shipping me the satin covers. Then give me a call and say, ma'am, have you received it? And then say, could you pay for the cotton covers? We've given you two of them. If you don't mind, pay for one of them. That's all right. Hush.